Hello interwebs, how are you doing? I am doing well. I just got back, I did a photo shoot, that's when my hair is all fancy. Oh, I'm gonna burp. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I just had Taco Bell. Yee! I had two chalupas and they were delicious. You can see my bird in the background, he's all... Mm -hmm. And I, uh, he's out here because when I watch Game of Thrones, I'm like really sensitive to violence, so I need something to like, hug. <laughs> I just, I coughed up a little taco there. Anyways, so my hair is all poofy. Hilarious story. So I go to do this photo shoot. Oh, there's Leroy. Leroy, I love you. I love you. Um, so I go to do this photo shoot, and the whole point of this photo shoot is to do my Akali cosplay. So I get, like, everything together. I get my weapons loaded in the car. Please don't lick your butt. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so I get my weapons in the car, and I'm, like, all ready to go, and I'm super excited. I also brought, like, a Pokemon trainer, like, theme thing and then the photographer Megan she like had like this really pretty other outfit that she wanted to do so first we do the Pokemon outfit which I can't wait to show you guys the pictures because they came out so cute so cute and then um I get all ready to do the Akali and I realized that I brought everything but the dress so I didn't have the dress so that was like a major fail on my part so I'm gonna go back either Sunday or Tuesday and take the shots. I actually left everything else there because I have to bring the dress with me. That way there's no way I can forget anything. Um, so yeah, so I have to go back and do that. And then she did like these beauty glamour shots, which I'm so awkward. Like I'm really good at being like, but I'm really bad at being like, like I'm terrible at like be sexy. Like I don't know how to do that. How do you do that? I don't know. So I felt kind of awkward and derpy, and she was like, you're not derpy. And I'm like, I'm the derpiest. Anyways, so that was a good time. We had a really, we had a lot of fun. So hopefully I'll be getting those pictures in a couple days, and I can give them to you guys. And I think the Pokemon trainer ones are going to go on my Etsy. As many of you may know, I am selling stuff on my Etsy um, to try to raise money for my taxes because I owe the government like thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, but right now I'm selling signed photos and I'm also selling um, hair bows and I'm going to be making some more charms. I've just been super busy. And then my dad is also selling paracord. Well, I'm selling them. He gave them to me and I'm selling them. Um, for my dad, I'm selling some paracord bracelets. So yeah, that's, that's what's on my Etsy right now. And it's good stuff. So I also, I did get a suggestion from someone to do Harry Potter themed uh, bracelets for my for my dad to make Harry Potter themed bracelets. So I'm just going to send him over the colors and if he has them, he's going to make a couple. And then I'm going to see what he has that's like My Little Pony themed. <laughs> hey dad, what do you have in the department of My Little Pony? But really, he might. He has a lot of different colors. So, And I'm going to get a list of colors from him too so that I can set it up so that you guys could like custom order colors. I just don't know what he has. So I can't just set it up like pick any color because I don't want to have to buy a whole new like rank of Hank. It's a Hank, not a rank. It's a Hank. Uh, so he doesn't have to buy like a whole nother Hank of Paracord when it's only for like one bracelet because that's silly. Anyways, I'm also making these like candy um, bracelets to put on my Etsy. I haven't put them up yet. This is my flamingo. Remember him, Ringo? He's being used well. There's a couple more that I haven't... Eek! Get off of there. There's a couple more that I haven't quite finished yet, but I'm making a bunch of these and they're kind of cool, I think. I don't know. Showed off, Ringo. Muddle it. Oh, what else is going on? So I just had some tacos and I had a photo shoot and Nick's Nick is away for work tonight, so I'll probably stay up all night because I miss him. Um, I need to do a mail vlog. I actually, I'm a super good panda though, if I do say. Uh, I went to my P.O. box last Thursday and everything that came in Thursday that was like, hey Danielle, can you sign this? Already sent out. So um, if it came in, I went back to the post office on Monday. So if it came on Monday, I haven't shipped it out yet. But I finally got my stamps.com account working. So when I have stuff that goes on my Etsy now, I don't have to go to the post office. So it should all be shipped out within a day or two. So as soon as I go through that mail, yeah. So that's what's going on there. And I have the hiccups. Leroy, you're being so cute. <laughs> I love him, even though he attacked my face that one time. Nyr, nyr. 
Okay, so I just wanted to vlog. Um, oh, and just so I can mention this now, a lot of people requested that I do like a draw my life video, and I thought about it. I like wrote it out what I would say, and I started drawing it today, and then I decided I don't want to do a draw my life video. Um, I feel like if I did a draw my life video, a lot of people would think I was doing it because I like wanted pity or attention, and I don't. And I also like. Honestly, I'm not fully like over all the shitty stuff that happened to me in my life Like I'm certainly persevering on and I'm not sad or depressed and I don't dwell on it But that doesn't really mean I like to talk about it and I don't really want to share it with like Hundreds of thousands of strangers because a lot of people on the internet are mean and I think that I don't think it's a really good idea to like add fuel to the fire um, But it's okay because I'm like cool now like everything's fine totally fine. Um, I just, I don't really feel comfortable. Plus like there's other people's information involved with my life. You know, my sister and my parents and extended family and like other people that I interacted with. And I don't really want to make anybody feel bad or like tell anything that somebody else wouldn't be comfortable with me telling. So I just don't think it's a great idea. Um, that's all. It's no, it's nothing personal. It's nothing personal. I just, I wanted to say that cause I had said at one point that I thought I was going to do it. And then like in further thought, I don't think it's a great idea. Um, I did a video on my this channel, Random Panzer, that was called It Gets Better, <clears throat> where I kind of talk about it a little bit without getting too in detail about it. So if you are interested in why I don't want to do a Draw My Life video, just go look that video up. If I can find it, I'll link it below. But I'm not making any promises because this was probably like, I want to say it was probably close to a year ago. So if you just go on my channel and search It Gets Better, like that video may be interesting for you, I guess. I don't know. But <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't know what's going on, man. I'm like coughing up tacos. But um, yeah, so but it, don't, don't worry. It's not like, no, I'm not like sad. Like I'm clearly quite happy. And everybody in the world has like a backstory. And some people's aren't so shitty. And some people's are kind of shitty. And like... I think part of getting over it is not dwelling on it and I feel like having a video that would be on the internet forever that like outlined all the major events in my life, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I just talked about, I was going to talk about just like my childhood and like getting bullied and like not having a great home life but I just, I just don't want to get into all the details and I, I can't, I'm not the type of person that can tell like part of a story. Like I can't just like skim the surface, it's not in my personality at all. Like. It's all or nothing. So I just, I don't feel comfortable doing it. So I just spent like two minutes telling you why I didn't feel comfortable doing it. But that's okay. That's okay. We're bros now. I have this cupcake. Ooh, I dropped Ringo. Hang on. And I'm back. Okay, I have to go. Well, I don't really have to go, but I want to go play WoW. It's understandable, right? I've been doing the, um, the pet battle quest, the one where you have to kill like the 10 super pets. And I've done it three times, and all three times I got a pet. It was super exciting. So I might do it again today and see if I get another pet. And then I probably won't get a pet, and I'll be like, Wee, why me? I tweeted Blizzard today. Oh, I feel bad for not mentioning this sooner, but if you... <sighs> I'm really sad about what happened in Boston, because I only live like four hours away from Boston, and I was just there for PAX East a couple weeks ago. And that's like horrible. It's horrible on so many levels, because... In a terrible way, like, I understand, like, a government protest gone wrong. Like, I, I understand, like, the motivation for, like, an attack on, like, the government. Not that I would, oh my god, like, I, I'm not condoning violence. But I just can't even fathom any logic whatsoever of attacking spectators of a race that many people run for charity. Like, you're not making a political statement. You're not attacking a certain group of people. You are just killing people to kill people and it's so messed up and I'm I'm so heartbroken for anybody who is affected by that like it is it is so terrible like I can't even like I have like a friend who lives right near Boston and one of her high school friends was really severely injured and her mom lost her legs like I can't even imagine like going to the Boston Marathon to like cheer on a loved one and like ending the day losing your legs in a terrorist attack like that's that's awful stuff so I just my heart really goes out to anybody affected by that and I also like am so faith in humanity restored seeing the way that people are acting like 
I haven't really seen very much negativity. Like, people are being so positive and coming together. And I don't know, a lot of people in Boston, like, offered total strangers a place to stay because they were displaced because of the attacks. And, like, people are donating money to help the victims who were severely injured and lost limbs. And it seems like out of this terrible tragedy, there's a lot of, like, positivity coming out, which... It's good, but I, I still, it's still awful, and, like, I feel so terrible. I tweeted Blizzard today, and I suggested maybe them making a, um, an in-game pet that would, the money would be donated to, to the, I don't know, whether it would be donated to, like, the victims or the Red Cross or just something, because, I don't know, I just feel like, I feel like all of this stuff is a very big deal. Like, a lot of stuff, people were like, oh, only three people died, but, like, those, what, how would you feel if you knew those people? Like, and over a hundred, like, what was it, a hundred and thirty something were injured. And when I say injured, it's not like oh, yeah, scraped knee. Like, more than ten people lost limbs. Like, that's awful. And like those, the medical bills for that kind of stuff. You're talking like hundreds of thousands of dollars and long term stuff too. It's not like a one time surgery and then you're back to being a normal person. Like. For the rest of your life, you're going to need, like, a wheelchair and prosthetics and physical therapy and ramps installed in your house and a special shower and all of your doors need to be widened. Like, there's so many expenses that come with that. So, yeah, I tweeted Blizzard and I said, you know, it'd be a really nice idea to maybe do, like, a Boston Terrier pet with, for charity for the Boston Terror Attacks. So, I've gotten really off track in this vlog, but... The moral of the story is, please be a nice person. <laughs> if you are feeling down or if you are feeling shitty, please don't resort to such horrible things. Like, you you can get help, and there are people who can help you feel better. And please just don't resort to violence. And I'm sure none of you would ever even consider doing that, so I'm kind of wasting my breath by saying that. But on the slight chance that maybe one person was thinking about doing something really extreme. Tyke, you just went outside. I'll get Kieran in a second. You hang on. You hold your horses. Anyways, if there is like one person out there who's like thinking of doing something really extreme because you're in a really dark place, like there is light and darkness only breeds more darkness and there is help out there. And I believe in you. You can you can get better. And there are people and resources that will help you do that. You have the whole internet at your disposal. Just just Google it. <laughs> so I just I just I just I just really want everybody to get along. We're all people. We all look at the same sun and the same moon and the same stars and regardless of your beliefs or how you choose to live your life, there's doing things like that is not going to change anything and if anything it's going to make people more so oppose your views so just get along <laughs> be nice and remember everybody's got a tragic backstory that makes them the way they are so even if people do terrible things please do not judge them at face value because if somebody does something really horrible it, they probably had some really horrible stuff happen to them to get them to that point so just have forgiveness in your heart and be kind this vlog got really sappy. I gotta go. Ringo's... Oh! Ringo's upside down! Ringo's gotta go, too. Tychus is crying because Kieran's sitting on the porch and he's jealous. So I'm gonna go let the cat in. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And again, if you are affected by what happened in Boston, my heart really does go out to you. And I'm so sorry. And just try to stay positive because there's way more good people in the world than there are bad people. And goodness breeds goodness. And apparently badness breeds goodness too, so I have to go. I love you all. You're in my heart, so I'll see you soon. Bye.